All right, let's talk about cleaning wheel sets. A lot of people take their wheel sets and they'll go straight for the moto tool and usually the cup is the one that you want to do for this. And I'll show you. You take the wire cup. Remember that one I told you not to use? This one? Don't use this on wheel sets. You will wreck them. And we just go around a little bit. If you're watching this, chances are you already know this part, but I'm going to show you something you might not know. And I'm going to clean the inside on these Athen blue box types where we got the steel on the side frames. The outside does not pick up electricity, it's picked up from these nuts on the inside. All right, so I got a pretty clean wheel here, but I'll show you something. This is a wheel set I clean with Brasso. Okay. This is the wheel set I clean with, with the wire cup. This is the Brasso one. Which one do you think is better? I'll tell you, if you don't have Brasso in your tool kit for doing this, that's something you want to think about getting. Now, not all wheel sets are brass. I'm pretty sure these are, because they, they clean up real nice with brass. Um, for other ones, some semi chrome, some Noxon, some Flitz, some of those things are good. So if I put a little bit on this, this is a microfiber, just a little bit heavier than a regular rag. Um, so I put the little pile of uh, brass on here. I rub my wheel, get some on there, put it on the other side, okay, and then I, I just rub it on the cloth here, and I'll tell you what, metal polish does a better job than the wire wheel, and you do the wire wheel regularly on these eventually you will strip the plating off of them especially if you are when we do one of these AHM uh, like the C628 or the GP18 you will strip the plating right off those to find bare like brass and you strip the, strip the nickel plating off you find bare brass underneath them and then that wrecks your wheel sets and they don't last very long after that just a little rub there and I'll come back later and hit just a couple spots with the wire cup and take a look there look how nice that is okay here's the wire cup here's the brasso here is the one that's untouched so you can see those the brasso does a really good job Okay, the other trick with the Brasso, after you do this, you want to use cold water and dish soap and your little toothbrush. I said cold water. And then you clean the Brasso off of here. That's how you, that's how you finish it off. And that's pretty much all there is to clean these wheel sets. We're going to set them and we're going to do a little tacky glue in there keep them in place. But let's finish up polishing these wheels. All right, let's get down to business with some wheel sets here. Now, as you saw earlier, I took these wheel sets and I polished them with Brasso. They're really nice wheel sets. I have to imagine these are Northwest Short Line replacement wheels. Um, they really did polish up nicely. I don't know if you can actually see the difference but these were extremely yellow before. Now they are almost silver. So what we want to do here, I've got in this old tester's bottle some graphite, liquid graphite coating. And it serves a lot of purposes. And one of those is to, we're going to coat the shiny side of these wheel sets here. And that will give us kind of the weathering effect that we want to have and we don't need a lot let's just keep it inside the bowl these we don't have to worry about contact 
electrical contact on the on the end of the axle because they pick up from the inside. All right, so there's one, and it's just that simple. Uh, this coating, I don't remember the name of it. I got it at a farm store. It uh, came in, I think, a quart. So I've got basically a lifetime supply. I will never use up that much. And this is that easy. Now the other thing I've done, like I said, after I finished soldering on the wires on the side frames, I went ahead and sprayed some black primer on those for two reasons. One, for the visual effect, um, so there's not a shiny silver thing behind the wheels. But the other reason is, I remember I told you about the acid flux. We don't use that. But on those kinds of things, that's what acid flux is for, is to allow you to solder to things that are really hard to solder to. Now, here's another little tip for you. If you've ever had if you were soldering rail joiners and track and putting on feeder wires and you had you ran into some track that you could not solder to probably because it was either true steel which is made by Tyco and I, and I believe Bachman makes a steel one too and it's really hard to solder to until you put a little acid paste on there and then it solders up no problem at all now in case you were wondering what is the purpose or why would you want that uh, Tyco True Steel track? Well, Tyco made a train way back when, Super Jump train, that uses magnets to hold it close enough to the track so when it goes and does loop to loop or goes up the wall or jumps over something, those magnets get it and keep it on the track. It's kind of like a little slot car. So I have I have enough for on my layout. I'm going to install one track down at the bottom close to the floor that will go straight up to the top level. And that super jump train will be used to go up there. Should be kind of an amazing little set. I'll camouflage it so that when you're looking at it, you won't really be able to see it. All right, look at that. We're finishing up these nice and easy. I'm not going to have to clean the wheels again because I didn't go outside the bowl. And it's just that easy. And I'm, I'm not going to recoat these. They'll be just fine the way they are. And that's all we need to do with the wheel sets. Uh, the next step is we are, once this dries, and this dries really quick, once it dries, we're going to go ahead and get them engaged. And I'll show you that shortly.